Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video we're going to just do a quick walkthrough a very beautiful and historic cemetery here in Savannah, Georgia. This is the Colonial Cemetery. We're walking through a gate built by the DAR in uh, 1913. This sign says that it was an active burial ground between 1750 and 1853, so it's Savannah's second oldest cemetery. And the uh, sign lists some notable burials and says that it was converted into a park in 1896. And I did some research and found out that they converted into a park because after they stopped doing active burials here and basically during and after the Civil War, the park became disreputable, had a lot of vandalism, things going on. So they converted it to a city park to kind of get control of uh, the problems they were having there. And there I was showing you a uh, tabby concrete uh, sidewalk, which is concrete made using oyster shells, and it's very common in the low country. This is the grave of uh, America's foremost miniaturist, which was a person who painted portraits that were in lockets in those days, and it was an important thing apparently in the early 1800s. This is a very atmospheric park as you can see with all the Spanish moss and there are some sweet grass flowers which has a direct tie back to the sweet grass baskets that are made in the low country here from the originating from the Gullah people which were slaves brought from Africa. I didn't take a lot of photographs here because, unsurprisingly, cemetery photographs are not big sellers. But it's still a beautiful and historic place and I wanted to share it with you. The cemetery had a big brick wall all the way around it uh, once upon a time it was had the nickname the brickyard or something like that and here you can see a wall containing some of the vin vandalized uh, headstones from back in the day and also these are the headstones of some people who uh, are actually buried under the sidewalk unfortunately so that means when you're walking through you're walking over the graves of some of these folks in addition to the notable burials here like the miniaturist and some other uh, Georgia people of history. There are also some mass burials here including some big ones uh, with uh, approximately 700 people in them from a big yellow fever epidemic and when you visit an old cemetery like this and look at the ages of some of these folks who died very young and who died from tuberculosis and from yellow fever you realize how lucky we are to have modern medicine.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to visit my website, keithdotson.com.